Greetings, toy heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams, the action figure show about news, reviews, collecting tips, customizations, kit bashing, everything that goes into this fun, nerdy hobby that you and I both love. And in this special episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Mattel Masters of the Universe Battle Cat. Uh, I have uh, been passing this by on the shelves at my local Ollie's for quite some time. Um, it was priced at $19.99, which is a great price. Um, but I just couldn't bring myself to pick it up. Um, main reason was I have this guy. I got the 40th anniversary He-Man, and I thought that'd be really cool to have that, to have him sitting on that. But um, after the holidays, they had a 33% off sale, and the last time I was there, I grabbed it. So uh, let's have a look here at the box. We've got the old 80s art style there up at the top. Uh, with He-Man sitting on uh, Battle Cat, not wearing his helmet, but we've got the helmet sitting off to the side there. Masters of the Universe, Battle Cat, Fighting Tiger. On the top of the box here, we've got Terrifies Every Enemy. Every enemy. This terrifies every single one. Removable armor and headpiece comes uh, carries He-Man into battle. I almost said comes with He-Man into battle. He-Man's not in that box. Uh, modern posing retro play. So, um, unlike the original 80s it's Battle Cat, this one is posable. Yet, uh, his original one was just basically, well, the original one was a kit bash of an old, um, oh, can't remember, it was Act, not, was it Action Man? I think an Action Man Tiger that they just repainted and repurposed. Uh, Mattel logo there on the bottom. On the side here, we've got uh, Battle Cat Fighting Tiger and more of that artwork. Same here on the other side. And then here on the back, we've got um, more of that artwork there. A Skeletor fighting He-Man there, showing you how to take the armor off. There is the first wave. Uh, He-Man, Tila, man at arm Skeletor, uh, Evil Lynn, uh, Prince Adam, Sky Sled, Battle Cat, and Beast Man. And then on the bottom here, a whole lot of jibbery jabbery legal jargon and a barcode. All right, let's get this out of the box and we'll have ourselves a look. All right, here we go. We've got him out of the box. Let's uh, just take a look here. Um, here, we'll pop the mask or the helmet off. This is very reminiscent of the original. Um, it's a very soft, it's a soft rubbery plastic. Um, I didn't, I've never been a big He-Man collector. Um, I did have He-Man, Manny Faces, and Ram Man growing up. Um, those are really the only ones I got, and I got them, like, there towards the end when um, they were really marked down. It's just not, it wasn't something I was 100% interested in, like Star Wars or G.I. Joe or, you know, DC. But um, this is a pretty nice looking. Um I kind of feel like I need to do some touch-up work on the uh, little details. I think I, I might need to go over this with a Sharpie or some acrylic. Give it like some gold. Um, probably have to look up pictures of this from the comics and see how this, if it was actually decorated or if it was just plain matte like this. But um, yeah, there is the mask. And then here is the cat. And first thing I noticed right out of the barrel or right out of the box, rather, um, pulling this out, is this is a much softer plastic than I originally uh, anticipated. I kind of thought that this was going to be a very hard, rigid plastic, and it's not. Um, the, uh, the sculpt looks really good on the head, and then we've got an articulated jaw, which I didn't expect there to be. There's actually a lot to this that uh, I just didn't, I didn't think we were going to get. Um, and it's much, much better than the original, uh, original one because it is articulated. The original one, I believe, uh, I think was an Action Man Tiger from a jungle set that they just repurposed and kit bashed and, and painted green and gave it yellow stripes. Uh, and it worked. Um, I think I saw that in a documentary about He-Man. Um, but we've got the saddle here up at the top. And again, I just, I kind of looking at this, there's like little, little things on here that I feel it need definition. And I, I'm going to have to look into that, uh, and, um, and see if I can find a picture of, of this that maybe is more decorated. I feel like the, this part should be brown. 
uh, like leather and then the, the maybe leave the red but then have these a little bit more detailed right here but um, it looks really nice um, yeah I'm very 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 happy with it the, so far uh, let's take a look at articulation first off uh, we've got a swivel on the neck going into the body and then uh, another uh, swivel uh, a side-to-side -side swivel uh, on the head right there at the end of the neck. Um, this also goes up and down uh, right there on that. So you've got a, a swivel up and down and a swivel left to right. The legs are, uh, are not articulated in and out. They're just basically up and down uh, right there. But we do have a hinge uh, at the midsection of the leg there with a swivel. Um, the feet aren't hinged, which is kind of a disappointment, um, but not a, not a deal breaker. Same with the back legs. We've got a hinge on the legs and a swivel, uh, and then uh, uh, back and forth on these. And then the tail has a hinge and a swivel uh, on the tail. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think it I think it looks pretty good um, I think it looks pretty good so let's get he-man out here well, I'm not gonna be able to put him on there like that anymore so let's put his sword on his back and we'll put the axe in his hand like it is on the uh, on the package all right here we go, moment of truth. All right, we've got He-Man on Battle Cat. That's pretty sweet. That's really, that's really, it was definitely worth uh, the 33% off the 20 bucks that I paid for that. Um, there we go yeah it was definitely worth the price um i gotta say that's gonna look really nice up on my shelf um having he-man sitting on battle cat i never really intended on getting battle cat but when it was marked down from 20 bucks which is marked down anyway i just kind of had to grab it so yeah all in all uh i'm very very satisfied with this um I think it's a great purchase. If you haven't gone and grabbed you one of these, if you don't have one yet for your He-Man, go to your Ollie's. I'm sure they still have them because it just seemed like everybody was passing them by. Shadow Cat. Was it at Shadow Cat? I think Shadow Cat was the name of Skeletor's cat. I'm sitting here doing this and my brain's going, you got to remember the name of the cat. Um... So yeah, all in all, I'm gonna give this... Uh, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Um, I kind of feel like they should have... It should have had uh, a hinge on the paws there, kind of like uh, how the G.I. Joe animals do, and, and they, these should have be able to come outward, um, which they don't, they don't do. But um, outside of that, it looks pretty good. Um, it, it actually looks really, really good. They didn't go for a whole lot with paint apps and detail on, on the armor of this or on uh, maybe like a lot of the vehicles and stuff but they functioned and this is going to have this is going to function and it's going to have great shelf presence so up on my miscellaneous shelf next to like robocop and the ghostbusters and and a bunch of stuff that just doesn't really fit anywhere else but doesn't go together so they got their own shelf so that will do it for this episode thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed that please remember to like comment and subscribe Curse, smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of my channel. You all have yourselves a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time. And until then, don't forget to get your figure on. Take care.